said the other day we went walking through the woods in the neighborhood and it was like this times 10. Yep, this is where we're walking today. Are we brave or stupid? But so we're at Owsley Fort Reservoir today and we have parked at this cemetery that's been here since before the lake, but there's a lot of cool tombstones here from back in the day. One says 1843, 1925. There's a lot of years on this one. I thought it seemed like two, three days. They died and were resurrected and died again. And Be careful where you step because you will trip right over a tombstone. I'm serious. There's people fishing down here, so we'll go back up that way so we don't bother them. Here's one. Susan something Powell. Okay, eighteen seventy three is when she was born. Let's go back up so we don't bother them fishing. Being the son of a former game warden, I've learned you don't walk up on people who are fishing and make noise. Because whether or not it actually scares the fish away, people believe that. <laughs> I keep smelling a flower or something. Excuse me. Cut that out. <laughs> Whoa. Well, I didn't trip over a tombstone, but... <laughs> Here's a couple more. I keep having to remind myself to watch for snakes. You can't even read what's on that one. They look blank. There's a little one. There's one here somewhere, and we'll find it. That's a baby that died forever ago, and they put a new tombstone on it every now and then. And I've always wondered who does it. Because this baby died in like 1910 or something. Oh, wow. Yeah. There's one. Oh, last thing, I won't see a copperhead. They always say they bought the third one. Have you always heard that? I have heard that. I've always heard they bought the third one in a group. These down here are really grown up. And I don't know. I'm really not in the mood to fight with the copperhead today. I don't know how far down in there I'll go. There's one over here in the weeds. I don't see anything on it either. Where is that one little grave? There's two over here. Where's the one with this little baby? It's right behind where those people are fishing. There's a fence around it. If you can see it on here.
I'm gonna get bit by something. I don't know if it's gonna be a tick or a snake. Here we go. William F. Hudson, born 1870, I think that was a four, and died 1876 on New Year's Day. Walk on down through here and watch for snakes, watch for snakes, watch for snakes. There's one. I can't read the name on the one on the left. The one on the right is Martha Ann Parks. Born 1850, died 18-something. Oh, these were twins. They lived less than a year, and they were born on my birthday, Christmas Eve. Yeah, it says it down here at the bottom, twin sisters. Okay. There's one of the tombstones in the middle of the trail I was just talking about. <laughs> <clears throat> this trail wraps around to the dam. Here's another one. A lot of these are sold. You can't read them or they just don't have anything on them. I think I've left my friend sitting. Get down here to the lake. Now you're allowed to fish here. You're not allowed to swim. You're not allowed to camp. You're not allowed to have any motors in the water that run on gas. You can only use electric motors or paddles. Because this is our drinking water. That's the dam. And until everything went haywire with the bug that's going around this year, they're supposed to raise the dam to make the lake bigger because Bria has grown too fast and we don't have enough water. Oh wow. Jason yeah. Voorhees has been here. And it's not even Friday the 13th. Mm -hmm. So do not do drugs or have premarital sex out here or he will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cool. Oh, I wonder if I got it. She's trying to get up this hump. Now, if I were to scream snake, she'd get up it real quick. Honeysuckle. I wish I was in one of them little boats. That looks like fun. I just found a buckeye. It's not a very nice looking one, but I found one. Oh, snake. Dead snake. What kind? Dead. I've left my friends in the woods. There used to be a really nice, clean trail through here that went to the dam. You can kind of see the remnants of it, but the storms look like it's took a lot of trees down. Here come those dirty hippies. It's like, what do you worry about more in this situation? A snake, a tick, or a bear laying down somewhere out here. 
I don't see any ticks so far, but my socks have some stick tights on them. It's weird how that boat can go the opposite way the wind's blowing. That's some kind of math, I don't know. Or witchcraft, or... Wind noises. More bad wind noises. There's a deer down here, and I'm going to walk towards it until it runs off. But that's where we're going anyway, so. That's right down there eating. It don't look to be a very old. It's like, I wouldn't call it a baby, but. You see it? It knows we're up here. Y'all see it? I get in here and you see all these bees. It's covered in bumblebees. Y'all know what that is crawling up my leg. Drowned! If it wasn't so grown up, I would go around and get in. We're walking back up the dam. I'll start recording again when we get up there if nobody has a heart attack. Walking up that dam. That's damn near killed me. This is like a good place to sit. <laughs> you wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? I am back from the lake, and so far I have found a grand total of 13 ticks on my legs, and that's without getting in the shower and checking the dark spots and the creases and crevices. I've heard from a lot of people that ticks were going to be bad this year, and they weren't lying. We were out there maybe two and a half hours, and 13 ticks, and they're tiny. Some of them are so small, you don't realize what they are. It's a little scary. So if you're playing out in the woods or anything this week or this coming weekend, watch for ticks. And I'm really happy because I got home just in time to watch. <gasps> Mark and Becca, MTL Vlogs, live at the island. So I'm gonna shut this down and watch them. Everybody take care.